Welcome back to Bissell Maple Farms YouTube channel. I am Nate. You're in my truck. And uh, it's maple season. It's Friday. Uh, this episode is about you. Well, mostly about you. I do have quite a few sugar house pictures that you guys sent me. I appreciate it. This is one of my favorite episodes where people around the country or the maple belt, even in Ontario, send us pictures of their sugar house and we get to put them on our YouTube channel. And uh, I completely stole that idea from Mike Morgan. Uh, he used to do that with tractors. And I'm like, that's brilliant. I'm going to steal that idea. So that's what I've done. I took somebody else's idea and applied it to Maple. He's had a very successful career on YouTube doing what he does. I'm a big fan of Outdoors with the Morgans. So if you ever get a chance, I'll put a link down in the description below to Mike and Melissa's channel. Uh, one of my favorite channels. Just a good dude. Anyways. It's maple season. Sap is running. I hope you have a great season. Couple housekeeping items. Number one, we have a maple tour. It's a free pancake breakfast. We do it for the community every year. First two Saturdays in March. So it'll be March 2nd and March 9th. Um, yeah, come out, have some pancakes, take a tour, meet the team. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, it's really, we've been doing it for over 20 years. So I hope you stop in and enjoy it. If you're local, um, if you're not local, uh, I think we have a block of rooms saved at the Fairfield Inn, the Marriott there. They really treat us well. It's a brand new one in Austinburg, Ohio, which is about three to four miles from our facility in Jefferson. Anyways, that's my pitch for the Maple Madness Tour. What else do I have for you? Oh, the Maple Shot. Little shout out for the Maple Dude. Ordered a couple cases here. My son is a wrestler. He's a very good wrestler. And he said, Dad, I took one of those in the morning. I was not hungry all day. So wrestling, got to maintain your weight. My son, he's wrestling 138, probably walks around about 144, 145, maybe even 147. Um, but he's a pretty lean kid. So he eats well and he knows what he's doing. He's, you know, grew up in Pennsylvania. They know how to wrestle in Pennsylvania. If you know, you know. Um, and now he's over there in Ohio, which is... A different style, but he is wrestling tomorrow at Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's. Uh, sorry, St. Mary. That's from my Pennsylvania time. St. Mary's is Pennsylvania. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary at the LeBron James uh, Gymnasium tomorrow, which is kind of cool. So he's the one seed, and he should be. I'm a proud dad. I'm pretty excited. And Jonathan got his 100th win here. He's a junior in high school, got his 100th win uh, about a week ago. And uh, for his high school career, he's actually looking to get 100 pins. So that's pretty cool. Good for him. Uh, he and I are going to take off here tonight. It is Friday. This video is going to come out tonight. So it's uh, it's really today in the video right now. Uh, the footage you're going to watch, uh, we get a bulk milk tank from Daniel Dismukes. He, um, he noticed a lot of these bulk milk tanks are being sold for the maple industry. Uh, we have to put a little bit better uh, refrigerate and um unit on there because the regular stuff's only going to take down 38 degrees i want that sap slushy i want to be able to make it a little bit icy on top so that's just me i want to be able to store that sap the concentrate gives you a little bit more room makes that ro a little bigger when you can just concentrate it and hold it then you can boil when you want and i, I wish i would have done that years ago i probably wouldn't missed so many of my kids events nephews and nieces birthdays stuff like that like yeah the industry is definitely we have way better technology today with monitoring and steam evaporators and geez bulk milk tanks for storing concentrate i mean you can have your crew go out in the woods and then chase leaks and then when things freeze up again then you can boil instead of robbing people from the woods that'll actually help you make money you can actually boil when you want to. That's so nice. Like, it probably won't even be hooked up. Poor Kevin. It probably won't even be hooked up for the maple season, but we're trying like heck. Oh, one more thing. We got a high-pressure boiler. It's only 35 horsepower, but it's going to heat up some syrup for us. And uh, a lot better than those independent kettles that, you know. Anyways, move the sugar line. What else we got for you? Um, drilling some bourbon barrels, uh, when we get them, they're head bung and they need to be side bung, uh, for the racks that we use. So we have to drill 
a side bong in every barrel that comes to our facility. So I've been starting to collect this stuff because I look at Mike Morgan's fire starter and I'm like, you know what? This might work. So Mike, you know what's better than fire starter? Bourbon barrel aged fire starter. Yeah, that's how, uh, that's how we built our company. What's better than maple syrup? Bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. I didn't come up with it. The brewers did. We just copied it. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy yourself. Um, thanks for the pictures. Have a great weekend. Have a great maple season. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Some sort of gas meter. Gas meter there. That'd be nice. Columbia. Huh. Pretty cool. Pottstown, Pennsylvania. reason being this actually gets narrower as you come up the ramp so I got tired of people coming up the ramp and hitting sprinklers so we put that bar there and we still like use those as guide rails I think so 97 so that should in theory come right up this ramp we got a delivery let's go see what it is Yeah, baby. How's it going, man? You all right with being on YouTube? Yeah, we won't embarrass you. So this is it. Thousand gallons, right, Daniel? Thousand gallons. Thousand gallons, and this must have been when it was, part of it was outside, part of it was inside, so this was the seam on the wall? Yep, yep. For a while, or would you rather have it, it inside? It can stay out, but listen, what I have on my truck is I got these little dolly wheels. We can put it underneath there, and we can roll it right where you want it if you wanted to do that now. All right. Or I can leave the dolly wheels here for you. But see, you can't push and pull on the legs, so I put it up on this skid. You Smart. Know, and then you can do whatever you want with that skid. Uh, you don't even want me around for this job. But this is a thousand gallon bulk milk tank. How cold will we be able to get our concentrated sap? Well, it's designed for like a 38 degree evaporator. I know you want to go a lot colder than that, so we'll just have to play around with it and see what we can do. Sure. We might have to get a lower temperature condensing unit to put on it with a different Freon to be successful. Gotcha. We'll give it a try. Try everything once. Well, you know, every you said uh, you've even seen maple farmers are using these things. Yeah. You see them moving out a lot to maple farmers. Yep. These old milk tanks have a home. Keep the temperature low so you don't build bacteria and you can boil, boil when you want to boil. Boil when you want to boil.
Somebody once told me that uh, cologne and perfume, uh, companies that sell cologne and perfume are not actually selling cologne and perfume. They're selling hope. I love that. They're selling hope. What is the value of hope? How much does it cost? Well, it's infinite value. Um, if, here at Bissell Maple Farm, we don't sell maple syrup. We actually sell memories. It's true. What's it worth to have breakfast with your family when they come home from college and you all sit around the table Thanksgiving and have a maple coated turkey? That's really good, by the way. My grandma Jean, she makes the best turkey. Maple syrup is the key. What's that? Just pick up the drive. What did you say you hear? Concentrate. You hear concentrate going up, huh? A little different than it used to be, Dad. Do you miss putting firewood in an evaporator? Yeah, I do. Oh, you mean you don't like how easy this is? I like real sap cooking. <laughs> you know, you just got a lot more fans on YouTube. I think you need your own channel now. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just said? What'd you just say? I like real sap cooking with wood. Eli's real so right. This I was raised by this guy. I like natural gas because it's easy, and I never even put wood in the fire, so he's, he is the real original sugar maker around here. All right. You getting excited, Zach, all this improvement? Yeah. Dude, 2023 was hard on you, too. Yeah. You had a lot of manual work to do, and you stuck it out, yep. and now we're getting thousands and thousands more maple syrup to this facility, pounds more to this facility. Thank goodness we're getting new equipment, though. Yeah. I think you'd have done it one more year, but I don't think it's necessary. Right. You don't need to suffer that much. I would do it, yeah. I know. I, I know you it. would. That's how it had to be. I know. Like, Joe was asking me about the kettle that blew. We blew our thir middle kettle, Joe. And what did you say about that kettle? I mean, it's been paid for ten times over. <laughs> it's about it was time, a piece right? of crap. It's about time. It was a piece of You said my middle kettle is a piece of crap? Yep. Yeah, so what? you kept it going for us. Yeah, for a good eight years. Eight yeah, years. and now what? The uh, what? The uh, it cracked. The heat exchanger cracked. Yeah. Can't. It's not worth welding. Once it blows. Well, that's it's been heated so much you don't want to weld it because it, it just cracked again. Yeah, it's not worth it. So we so. heat it up. Say if we if we would have had those other kettles that we've been robbing parts off of for all those years. You mean the ones that just scrapped? The stainless yeah. kettles just scrapped. Yeah. We have been able to fix that. Joe, was there enough in the boneyard we could have possibly fixed it? Yes. Jess. Ouch. Jess. That was 15 grand, Jess. <laughs> you know what, though? She's right. We had so much crap, we had to get you rid of it. it. We had too much. Harbridge. That's what they call it. Yeah. What they call it? Harbridge. You know what, you, you know what we all call it? The boneyard. Mike's got a new home out here. So they hooked up the gas. Do you like the fact you can walk behind there, Mike? Yeah. And there's no gas line to trip on. Oh. Kind of nice. After we got rid of that one uh, valve also that was on the second burner, we got a nice new valve that works real good. Oh, really? Yeah. So how'd they set this up for you? They did put some black pipe in there. Good. So how many holes can you get per sharpening? It all depends on how big the teeth are. So as you use the bit teeth get smaller and smaller as you sharpen them yeah so this is pretty dull just after doing one barrel yeah i notice i only get about two barrels so this is white oak it's pretty hard we have a diamond stone sharpening kit and we actually have to sharpen these forstner bits so it's got lapping compound and we have to sharpen these so we can continue to drill holes. If any of you woodworkers 
have some secret uh, what kind of bit we could use, but this is what they use in the barrel making industry.
drive in this morning. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. <laughs> 